What's poppin' YouTube? Dags back again. Uh, guys, happy Saturday. So I had a free Saturday, and I said, let me let me go out to the stores and go pop hunting. I haven't went out to the physical stores pop hunting in over a year. I had before COVID. Um, so you're talking beginning of 2020, and I don't even know if I made it out then. It might be 2019. Um, but before I get into that, guys, I don't know if you follow – original Funko, Funko's official Instagram account. They've been doing the um, Funko Photo a Day Challenge on Instagram. And, you know, I've been I've been on their story featured from the past few days. Well, yesterday's Friday was Funko Fashion Friday. I won. You, you'll you see a post of me on Funko, and it was a selfie, of course. My face blast to 2.5 million followers. Crazy. Um, and I won a prize. I think it's like a mystery proto or something. So that's awesome. I was just happy to participate. So Funko, thank you. Uh, and if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, Degs Toyden. Same as this channel, D-E-G-Z-T-O-Y-D-E-N. All lowercase, all one. Degs Toyden on Instagram. But I went on a hunt this morning, went to a mall, hit up some few stores, went to Hot Topic, GameStop, FYE, BAM, Disney Store, and a local comic book store, collectible store. And nothing at, um, nothing good at uh, Hot Topic or GameStop or anything like that. I was going to pick up some reaction figures at, excuse me, FYE from Super 7, but passed on those. Went to the Disney Store. And, um... They had, they had some good stuff. So this was a Disney outlet, so they have some, like, Disney Park exclusive stuff. Um, no pops or anything, but they did have this cool magnet set. Um, and, again, sorry for the, the lighting in here. Stinks. I got to, like, face – I got to, like, face the light somehow. Um, that's a little bit better when the light shines on it. Um, the camera should be coming. Um, Mickey – or my – and this camera is backwards, too. So Mickey – Mini, Donald, uh, Goofy, and Pluto magnets. These will go great on the fridge. Just, I think I love this like enamel magnet set. So it was on ten ninety nine, and it's a Disney Park uh, exclusive. So pick those up, guys. My favorite Disney movie is Robin Hood. So I always collect anything Robin Hood. I have all the Robin Hood pops. I pre ordered the um, Disney Ultimates Super Seven Robin Hood set, uh, where it's Prince John and Robin Hood so far. Well, they had a pin. They had an exclusive pin, and she wrapped it for me so it didn't get scratched, uh, which is always nice. I got to get my pin board up. Um, I do collect pins from Disney and then also, like, places I go on vacation, stuff like that, Grand Canyon, whatever. Um, this is another park exclusive, limited edition, 2020 Disney Parks. On the back it says... It's an awesome pin. It's Disney uh, Robin Hood Archery. Again, again, the lighting is not the best. But you can see it's a Disney Park exclusive. Normally like 18 bucks um, on sale for 15 And Robin Hood, my all-time favorite Disney movie. And I, I, love, I actually love all the Disney movies. Luca, I really enjoyed being Italian myself. And then I found these. These were cool. This is Disney Rewind. So I don't know if any... I haven't... I wasn't aware of these. Um, but these weren't expensive. These were only like nine bucks. And what it is, is a mystery figure inside this really cool packaging. Uh, it's popcorn, obviously. And... The, uh, the figures you can get look like a Hercules... A Dumbo, I think that's Miss Bianca from Rescuers, Wally and Tinkerbell, and then it looks like a Chase Hercules, which is all blacked out. Again, the lighting stinks. Hold it this way. So you got the Chase there; it's all blacked out. Maybe it's like glow in the dark or something. I have no idea. I've, I I don't have any idea of what these are. The woman in the store said she wanted Dumbo, and she, I guess she didn't get Dumbo, so she made it. Uh, Someone, uh, one of her co-workers got Dumbo. She bought it off her. So maybe these are popular. I don't know. And then that's what it looks like. They come um, with a stand and then like an, an and then a uh, art card. So I got two. Me personally, I of these, I'll be happy with any. Like I said, I love all Disney. But if I had to pick, I'd take Hercules. And my girlfriend's a big Tinkerbell fan. So I, my, I would prefer to have Hercules and Tinkerbell. 
Hopefully just avoid a duplicate. There is only seven available. Yep. And it looks like one's a chase, and I don't know what the ratios are. Anything about these. But even of itself, for for eight bucks or nine bucks, eight ninety nine. I thought the uh just like the popcorn thing itself, like this here is a cool collectible to me. Just have this here. Like you have a movie area. That's awesome. Like the Mickey Mouse, Disney Rewind with the uh, popcorn. I think that's cool. So let's see how we open this. Okay, it just comes comes right off. And that's the stand. I guess so you just flip it. And I think the card gave it away. Um, it's in a mystery bag. And let's see what it is. Do I Should I have broad scissors? Probably. Just like that. Okay. And I think I know what it is because I saw the card. Nice. It is Tinkerbell. So my girlfriend will be happy with that. Tinkerbell and the, the thimble thing. So I think what you would do is maybe you would display it. Yep. So this, this actually lays down like that. And you would put her up either way uh, this way on there because there's a card and it's pretty thick card it's not flimsy um and it's like the original movie poster that's that's really cool and i guess that would just slot right in yep that's actually really cool for eight bucks or $8.99. So have you guys seen these? Um, Because that's, to me, it's pretty cool. So we got uh, Tinkerbell from Peter Pan. And like, even this. Even that is just cool. Um, and let's see what the other one is. So I felt a little bit for different weights. Because obviously Tinkerbell is going to be lighter than like Dumbo. You might be able to feel it. Um so this one might be like Wally or Dumbo. I feel like those would be the heaviest. Miss Bianca and Tinkerbell the lightest. And then Hercules probably somewhere in the middle. I don't want to look at the at the card this time. I don't want to look at the card. Because there it is. Okay. This is a bigger one. I think this is. This feels like Dumbo or Wally. More boxy type. Oh, that's a strong vinyl smell. Oh, Wally. Okay. Cool. So there's a newer newer one. Because Wally was, what, 2008? Around then? Yep. And that is the official Wally movie poster. So pick, is this the only... Um, I think this was the only Pixar character included. So again, you would put the... Uh, now I might... <laughs> I really wanted that Hercules, but... Um, I don't know what the chase would be. I mean, it looks like it's the same Hercules, but I have to maybe research it a little bit. That's really cool. Oh, he fell off. There he is. So Disney Rewind mystery figures. Um, if you guys weren't aware, uh, they're pretty cool, in my opinion. I would recommend them. They're a lot of fun to open and very cool collectibles, which and normally I'm up to date like on current collectibles and stuff, but I was not aware of these at all so okay let's get into the soda so i went to a, a local comic book collectible store and they did have some sodas so i don't know if they were tampered with whatever but they were like 12.99 so about retail between 12 and 15 and um so they're sealed right i don't know there was no cases or whatever just kind of out on the t on the counter um so I don't know if people wait and whatever, but it's just fun to open. And these were ones that uh, I've never opened. So I got Snake Plissken, 10,000 piece. Um, this is actually going to probably go to my dad. He's a big um, Escape from New York, John Carpenter, Kurt Russell fan. And I know he really hoped probably for a thing pop or a soda. Um, so we got Snake Plissken. We got Edward Scissorhands, also 10,000 piece. Johnny Depp. We got Quisp. 10,000 piece also. We got Jack Torrance, 12,500. Jack Nicholson. 
And Leatherface, 12,500. So let's start with the eyeball of the group, the non-movie one, Quisp. Um, see what we get. I'm not really expecting any chases, guys. Because um, they only had, like, one of each left, really. I think they had two snakes and, like, two Edwards. Everything else only one really left, so... I've never opened up any of these five, and I thought it would make for a fun video. Some retail therapy, you know. Boom! What do we got? Looks like just the common twist. I think the chase is holding the box of cereal. This is a cool figure. Quisp. Cereal. One out of 8,400. Quisp. Cool. That is my man, Quisp. First one I ever opened of him. Um, never had Quisp or Quake cereal in my life. Um, and these ones aren't ones I really collect. Like, I collect Die Hard, like Disney, Looney Tunes, Marvel. Um, this is kind of more movie and ad icon. This one's got some stuff on it. Let's open up him. He's got some, like, I didn't see that. Uh... Some dirt on it. It's actually on the can. Interesting. I don't know what happened with that because it is fully sealed. So, yeah, that's interesting. See that, guys? But we got Leatherface. Obviously, classic horror movie Texas Chainsaw Massacre. They haven't done uh, Freddy or Jason or Mike Myers or Ghostface, anything like that. They have done Chucky. I'm trying to think of the horror ones they've done. I think the chase of this is bloody. Oh, I think. I think even with the. I think we had. This is a massive soda. I think we hit the chase. I believe this is the, the uh, blood splatter chase. Look how big this figure is, guys. Like, in comparison, and not only just tall-wise, like, thickness-wise. Yeah! So, despite the uh, the can residue, we found the chase. One out of 2,000 bloody uh, leather face. So, that is awesome. He's got... I love the blood on the... Uh, in the common... Yeah, much cooler than the common. Very similar to the blood, but even just the blood on the uh, the, the blade there of the chainsaw. And then it's got all in his mask and everything. Cool. Bloody Leatherface Chase. That is awesome. One out of 2,000. That basically pays for them all, I think. I, I don't know what he's going for, but... Especially come Halloween time, people want horror and they come out with more horror sodas. You know, you got to have Leatherface. I just got to try to clean that can. I don't know what, what went on there, but obviously it was sealed. I guess it was just the way Funko had it. Okay. Let's, uh, I'm most excited for Jack. So let's do Snake. Like I said, my dad, I probably should have bought two of these because he really wants, even if it's just a common, he wants that figure. Um, so he'll, be, I'll be sending this to him. So watch it be a chase and he's going to end up the chase. I think the chase, he has like a assault rifle or something, maybe. The pop of him was like a limited 2,000 piece Comic-Con one, I think. New York Comic-Con. Boom. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think we hit the chase. Holy mackerel. Yep, the fully automated rifle. One out of only 1,600. Wow. <laughs> hey, Dad, if you're watching, I don't think he watches. Um, can I uh, swear you a comment and send it to you? Holy moly, Snake Pliskin. Chase. Okay, two out of three chases. My luck has been pretty good on the uh, the sodas recently. 
um, dating back. Uh, had a really bad drop. I pulled two Booberry Chases in the beginning and a Scott Pilgrim. Then I went on a massive dry spell until WonderCon. Once WonderCon had like, kind of been kind of hot, so two chases already. And let's get to Edward Scissorhand. I um, I don't expect to pull chases here. I don't know. I guess the people that bought them all, ugh, they left all the chases at the end. Like I said, they only had like one of each at the store. Here's Edward Scissorhand. The common of this is awesome. I think the common is better than the chase. I forget what the, the chase is. He's like a white out. I forget. He's in a different outfit. Can't let I pull chase, guys. Okay. Okay, this is just the common. But that is a really, really cool figure. I mean, seriously, that is one of... I gotta say, just for the design and the way it came out, that is a great figure. And, you know, Johnny Depp, Edward Scissorhands, a classic. Um, just a common. One out of 8,400. Pog's a little bit bent. But yeah, that's an awesome figure. And like Halloween time, people are going to want these more like uh, hard type sodas, you know? Like Leatherface and Chucky and Nightmare Before Christmas ones. And uh, I'm trying to think of other horror ones they made. And Jack Torrance. This one's awesome. The Shining. I do have the Chase Pop. It's basically the same as the Chase Pop. It's the Frozen Jack where he's all blue from the snow. Amazing pop. I found that at Target years ago. I still have it to this day. Found that in the Chase Pennywise. The um, uh, I forget what you call that. The uh, Where it's like the muted colors. Um, let's see if we pull the Chase. It's it's an awesome Chase. Uh, and this is one where I think the Chase is like so much better. Than, like the, like some of these, like the Common's pretty good. And the Chase isn't that much better. But this Chase is much better than the Common. Not that the Common isn't cool, but. Chase, you know. Just to come. Still, though, two chases. Look at that big grin. Jack Torrance. One out of 10,500. So, guys, thank you all for watching. Um, pull two chases, Snake Pliskin and Leatherface, which is awesome. Guys, I really do love the sodas, and I I just wanted to actually buy sodas from a store because I've never been able to go into a store and buy them. No stores have them. I did find, like, three luxe stores at FYE, but I'm not into them. Um, so it was awesome to walk into a store and actually be able to buy sodas because I do buy online. Uh, I do have a fun package coming, like lots of pre-orders for sodas that I'm going to unbox on the channel, case brace, etc. I try to buy cases if it's, like, my main stuff. So, like, Marvel, like I always tell you guys. Um, some Disney and um, Looney Tunes. Um, but yeah, that was my haul today. So I got those Disney Rewind Mystery figures, which were really cool. Let me know in the comments if you've seen these. These are these are pretty cool collectibles. Um, and then the, uh, the, fi the five sodas, and we pulled two chases, which is awesome. So guys, thank you all for watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, at Degs' Toy Den, because I was featured. And I've been doing um, some pretty cool photos for the Funko Photo a Day Challenge. So guys, thank you all for your support, and I'll see you next time.